It's about 3 p.m. on a sunny October afternoon, and Tumbleweed, the Jersey cow, is on her way to the milking parlor. She wanders into the barn, and through a revolving turnstile, where an ID tag on her ear triggers a whir of activity. Welcome to the future of milk production. So this is a robotic milker, and the cows come as they want to, to get milk. Jessica Stiles Hess is a second-generation dairy farmer here at Shenandoah Jerseys in Washington County. Together with mom Janet Stiles and husband J.R. Hess, she manages a milking herd of about 100. About a year ago, the family installed these robotic milkers, a fully automated system in which the cows come and go as they please. Every cow can come through at least three times a day. If she's milking more, she can come through more. I have a cow that's milking over 100 pounds. She comes through five to six times a day easily. Without any prompting. Well, except for the promise of a sweet treat. It's a corn and soybean mix with some sugar in it. So the sugar makes it sweet like candy. That's really what makes them want to come through. They want the candy. While the cows chow down, the robot gets to work, cleaning each teat and then attaching suction cups. And then you'll see the weights start registering as the milk comes out. After, the cow makes her way back to the herd. And that's it. No human intervention necessary. What used to take us between four to five hours twice a day to go up and move the cattle and scrape the barns and milk, now it's an hour and a half. And these milkers aren't the only robots here on the farm. The calves, they are allowed to have two liters of milk every two hours. Like the robotic milkers, this robotic calf feeder reads each visitor's ear tag to determine whether or not they're due a meal. If they are... Besides saving time, these robots offer up valuable data, keeping track of who's eating and when, as well as how much milk each cow is producing. So it really helps us get a more in-depth knowledge for health traits and health issues that we would want to look at. Not to mention that these ladies have the freedom to eat and milk whenever they feel like it. All part of the farm's commitment to cow comfort. We want them to be happy. We want them to have anything that will make them more content because then they're going to eat more, they're going to milk more, and they're going to make us a little more money. Milk from the farm is sold through the Maryland and Virginia Milk Producers Co-op, mostly for use in things like butter and cream. But the co-op also bottles liquid milk. We're here in the facility of Maryland Virginia Milk in Landover, Maryland. We process about 30 million gallons of milk annually from this facility. It arrives in giant tankers and is immediately tested in the lab. And if we find any microbacterial issues, we do not accept that milk in our facility. The red light indicates that this batch is problem free. Once inside, the raw milk is pasteurized, then separated out into skim milk and heavy cream and recombined into the correct proportions depending on the product. Next, it's homogenized to prevent the fat from separating out. And finally, bottled. As 1%, 2%, skim, or whole. It's very easy to think it's just milk. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes in processing milk, from the farms all the way to the grocery stores. It takes a lot of people. And these days, a few robots, too. 